here we are going to get our normal acceleration. That person decided to go really slow. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ram 1500 Rebel. First and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the Ram 1500. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's just get straight into the video. Under the hood of this Rebel, we have the naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 21 on the highway with power outputs being 395 horsepower, then 410 pound feet of torque. And this truck does have a 3.92 axle ratio from the factory that's standard equipment with the Rebel. So the towing capacity is about 11,300 pounds. Now let's go over the front end of the Rebel here. So first off, you can see that the hood is completely unchanged. So you still get the sport hood, still get the blacked out 1500 emblem with the Hemi 5.7 liter right there at the top of the whole sport hood action. And then you can see same LED lights as last year. Nothing has changed there. And then what used to be known as the Black Rebel Group is now known as the Night Edition. So what it does is you get the blacked out Ram emblem and then notice that the skid plate is also blacked out here in the front. Fog lights are unchanged. Again, these will turn on when you turn the steering wheel, which is pretty neat. Parking sensors all along the front end. But other than the change in name for the Black Rebel Group, everything else is the same here. Now coming to the side here, we've got 18 inch wheels with 275 millimeter tires in the front. They're 33s. Same exact setup there in the rear. And if we take a closer look at the tires here, these are actually really good on the off-road. When we get to the driving portion, you guys will see how good these are on-road. And then the Rebel does come with the upgraded off-road shocks. Now this one has the standard suspension, not the air suspension. Yes, the air suspension can raise and lower, give you a little bit more ground clearance, but I recommend the standard suspension if you are gonna take this off-road because it's a lot easier to modify so you can get more use out of the suspension itself. And again, other than that, that's that part of the side. Here is your full side view on the trucks. You guys can see the profile of the truck. This one has the two-tone package. So you can see it's black on the bottom with the flame red there on the top. You got the Ram logo there on the side as well. And then other than that, things are pretty straightforward. Notice this one does have the trailer mirrors as well. And let's head to the rear. Now coming here into the bed of the truck, you can see this particular one doesn't have the bed utility group. So no LED lights or the rails or a bed liner obviously, but you can see you can still use the bed. The Rebels do come with the five and a half foot bed. If you do want a longer bed with the Rebel, you have to get a quad cab. You cannot get a longer bed Rebel with the bigger cab and that's because it's an off-road truck. And then notice this one does have the new LED light package there at the top. So the cargo lights are now LEDs here and there's a camera, but that will be for uh, other purposes you guys will see shortly. Let's finish things up in the rear. You can see we got the full LED lights here, all of the blacked out emblems there on the back, blacked out exhaust tips on either side and then the little receiver hitch there at the bottom. And then even in the lights, they make this part blacked out. So it kind of goes with the overall sporty theme of the truck. Definitely looks really good in this red color. And then I did forget to mention earlier, but the wheels are also blacked out as part of that night package that comes with the Rebels for 2021. Again, it's just the black Rebel group just with a different name. So it does the same stuff. Now coming to the door panel here, notice that we've got a bunch of soft touch here on the door, which is very nice in the blacked out trim. This one is a Rebel 12, so you notice a little bit on the door panel, it's a little bit nicer, but more importantly with the seats, as we notice the biggest change, so full leather seats in the Rebel 12 package. We've got the white stitching all along the seats as well. Still got the ice buckets, this is pretty much every Ram with the bigger size cab. And then picking up the seat, you can see the storage underneath the seat itself. This one does not have side steps, but if you're wondering, step in height's not too bad. You do have to step up just a little bit if you guys are wondering. I'm 5'11", and here's my headroom. And then you can see legroom stretching out. I mean, tons of legroom. A couple cup holders right here at the top, more of that black trim. And you can see you've got heated seats in the back of this one, USBs, and then you've got the full power outlet. And then you've got the little cup holder thing here in the rear, and that's the back. Now coming here to the front, notice that again, you've got all the soft touch here with the leather and then you've got that trim again. And then you've got all of your controls for the windows, memory seats. And then notice that we do have power folding mirrors. So this has the trailer mirrors. So first off, they are power folding. So all you have to do is just press that button that'll fold the mirrors in and then press it, it'll fold it out. And they are trailer mirrors, remember that. So 
They are power folding and you can flip them up. First time I've ever offered this on a half ton, so it's definitely a neat little feature. I have had a few people ask if you can get this done aftermarket. I don't think so yet, and I imagine it'd be really expensive if you could get it done, but yeah, you can get it in a 21. Anyways, coming to the seats, you can see again, full leather here. You've got rubble there on the side of the seats, and then you can see down there, you've got the adjustments for the seats, pedal layout, and then you've got all of your light controls here, fog lights, cargo light, your adjustments for the pedals, and then your little parking brake right there, but there is one more look before we pop in. Here's a quick look at the steering wheel in the Rebel 12. So you can see you got smooth leather at the top and at the bottom of the steering wheel. And then you've got kind of like the more perforated leather here on the side. Make it a little bit grippier where you're actually going to grab so you don't have your hands slip all over the place. And then we can see you've got cruise control. You've got adaptive cruise control as well. This is the manual shift for the gears. And then you got your voice command and phone controls. And that is for the center stack. There's radio controls on the back of the steering wheel. They're like little rocker panels. And then also they've got the white contrasted stitching on the steering wheel as well. And then we can see here with the stock right there, that's the windshield wiper stock. And other than that, that is the steering wheel for the Rebel. Coming to this part of the gauges, you can see you've got RPMs over on the left side. On the right side, you've got the speed. And then there's a couple different menus you can scroll through to give you different bits of information on the vehicle. There's nothing too crazy here with the information itself. Got the little thing for the speedometer, which I usually like to use. I like the off-road too as well, especially with the Rebel, right? That's the whole point of buying this truck, I would hope. And then obviously the driver assistance as well. And it's pretty decent for the fuel economy, but the truck has no miles on it. So we'll see what it actually gets. Now here is the monstrosity of a 12 inch display. First off, we're actually gonna pop the truck into reverse. So you can see the camera system. So this one does have the 360 camera system. So you can see that you've got the view at the back, out the front, right there as well. And then you get the bird's eye view on top of that. And then you can just go to traditional backup camera. And then it's got the zoom in on the receiver hitch. So you get the best of both here with the Rebel with that 360 camera system. Pretty neat to use. And then with the rest of the infotainment system, you guys know how this works. You've seen it a bunch of times. You haven't made a ton in terms of changes on it. It's all pretty much the same with the infotainment system. I like that you have a shortcut button to the front camera. The reason I like that is this front camera has the lines right there. So when you actually turn the steering wheel, the lines will turn with it. That helps out a bunch on the off-road, especially when you're in a tight squeeze. And then it does have the off-road pages. So you guys have seen this on a bunch of like the Jeeps, for example. They've had this for a while and the Wranglers and the Gladiator but they finally added it onto the Rebel. And I want to show you guys, you can see they've got like a little truck on there, which is pretty neat. But you can see it show you stuff that's similar to this um, center screen right there at the off-road. But basically the most important thing, right, your pitch and your roll, and then you can have another shortcut to the forward-facing camera on the off-road pages. Pretty neat little thing right there. And well, that's the infotainment system. Now at the top of the infotainment system, you can see you've got your lane departure assistance and then your parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. And then flanking either side, you've got like the climate controls, radio controls as well. And then here at the bottom, that's for your parking sensors, your tow haul mode, your stability control. And then the trailer brakes are already integrated into the truck as well. And then here's the shifter for the eight speed automatic. You've got your two wheel drive, your four wheel high, your four wheel low hill descent control and then you do have an axle lock for the rear a bunch of people have been asking me about the new like trailer guidance system the way that you know the truck would have it is it has it like right here in this area down here but the thing i've noticed that's kind of weird is every truck that has this new rear camera which we'll go over in a minute does not have the trailer reverse guidance and i'm wondering if you can't get both of them that's just what i've noticed is they either have the trailer reverse guidance or they have this camera in the mirror. Now we've got the center console here, which again, nothing has changed here. I'll just give you guys kind of like a quick look at all of this. You can see wireless phone charging right here at this Rebel 12 package, a couple of USBs, and then you get a full power outlet down there. And you got the Rebel logo right up there and then dual glove box as well, which is definitely pretty nice. And then notice that you've got like the stitching and the soft touch all along the dash. Up here, we've got the power sliding window. So you can see that that works normal. And then you do have a full panoramic center from this particular truck, nothing too crazy. And then again, camera mirror. So this is what the mirror normally looks like. I have it at like the right point. So this is what your visibility normally is. And then with the camera on, obviously you don't have any obstructions from rear passengers, seats, the window, any of that definitely helps out a lot. It's definitely a nice tool as well. Now, I know some of you might think that we're just staring at a windshield, but this is the heads up display. It doesn't show very well on the camera, but basically it shows different information like the speed limit. It can show your location. It can also show the current speed that you're going. But yeah, this one also has a heads up display. 
Now that we're done going with the interior on this Rebel 12, let's quickly get into the pricing of the truck. So in terms of pricing, this truck stickers for about $65,000 for any type of market adjustment. And before I get all the comments about how that is more expensive than a lot of people's first houses, it is the 21st century. The future is now, old man. Let's take this truck out and see how it drives. Let's quickly talk about visibility here in the Rebel 12 before we set off. So visibility over the hood, completely unchanged to any other Rebel, really solid. It's cool to see the sport hood. It's just like a really neat little touch. There's your visibility through the trailer mirrors, which are massive. And again, remember they are power folding. And then here's throughout the rear, which is really solid. And then again, remember this little mirror camera is gonna help out a lot with visibility, right? Just the difference between the two. And that all being said, Let's set off. As you can see, we are setting off in the 2021 Ram Rebel 12. And first off, in terms of the ride quality, we'll see if there's any difference between this and 2020. I suspect not. They didn't really change anything other than some of the tech features. So just like all the other Rebels, rides really smooth. And that's a huge benefit of the Rebel. Even though this is like an off-road truck with off-road capability, it still has a really smooth ride quality to it, which is definitely a nice little touch with it. And then in terms of the road noise that comes through, you don't hear a whole lot of tire noise. It's actually pretty quiet. It's pretty minimal in terms of the tire noise with the truck. And so just overall from like an on-road perspective, for being an off-road truck, it does a really good job. So I'll get into things more with summing things up, but this is like a great on-road, off-road truck. You can see handling here is great. The steering is very light. I mean, you really don't have to try at all in terms of effort and it'll just turn. And also the truck definitely doesn't feel like big and massive, which is another nice little touch with this truck. And good thing the light's red, so we can kind of test out the braking here a little bit. Yeah, so in terms of the braking, that's really good, which is gonna be important more for the off-road. But we're gonna get our minor acceleration, so this is just gonna be partial throttle, guys. So you can see just under partial throttle, it gets up and goes, no problem. It has plenty of torque off the line, no wheel spin or anything like that. And seeing the brakes again, I mean, yeah, just look how good that stops. It's really solid. Well, now here we are going to get our normal acceleration. That person decided to go really slow. Yes, yeah, you can see just like all the other trucks accelerates just perfectly and we're taking another turn here we have to go on the brakes yeah just the stopping power is so solid here on the truck it's just amazing how quickly the truck actually stops but let's go over summing things up here with the rebel so in terms of an off-road truck you guys remember i actually owned a rebel and you guys are gonna get a sneak peek to like the behind part of the dealership which is pretty cool but anyways you guys remember i used to own a rebel it actually did pretty well on the off-road now Compared to trucks like the Raptor that has like have like crazy Fox shocks, it didn't take stuff as well. It was you definitely felt things, but I never got in a situation where I got stuck on the off-road. But on-road is the biggest benefit. Definitely compared to my Raptor that I have now, it's not nearly, uh, sorry, the Raptor is not nearly as smooth. This is way smoother on-road. So if you're not gonna do crazy jumping and all that kind of stuff, and you're just gonna do light off-roading, camping, everything like that, then that's where the Rebel is really going to shine because it'll be a really cool, comfortable on-road truck, but it'll have good off-road capability as well. The only thing that I'm asking from Ram, please just add air conditioned seats to this truck. If you give it like a full leather package like what this has, I don't understand why you can't just add air conditioned seats. Like, seems pretty straightforward. And that's the new Rebel for you. And that is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Ram 1500 Rebel. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy for providing us with the truck. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in that next video.